we just caught this perch on a basically it's a 3d printed jig pole assisting tip up this is amazing like the jaw jacker except this was printed on a 3d printer hold that right over center see if we can get another one Oh, there we go, there we go, it's gonna jump. There we go, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him! That's the jaw jacker! Is it attached? Yeah, just real, real like a crazy person. Oh, nice. Do they feel big on That's a 3D printed uh, fishing tip up. Don't lose it, don't lose it. Ah! Wow! <laughs> nice! Very that nice. That is a fish. They are biting slow today. But we're working him with that jaw jacker. Look at the way it bit, it bit him in the mouth. Right in the top of the lip. I guess I could have and, taken, uh, you take it out of it. Yeah, yeah you so take it out. I got a little excited. And that th that's actually our first Lake George perch on a 3D printed jigging tip-up. Super tip -up. exciting. And that was fun. Hey guys, so 3D printed or the regular jaw jacker, some sort of fishing assistance uh, is a lot of fun. But I've learned some specifics over the year. That was actually, we took that recording last year of how to make it work for perch. So the beauty of these things are, it's kind of like a tip up, but when a fish takes the bait or the jig, it pulls on the line and boom, it sets a hook. That's beautiful, that's great. The problem is, usually that's too early with a perch. So uh, no fish were uh, harmed in the making of this video. Well, actually, the latter half of this video. Why would anyone watch a video where no fish were harmed? Anyways, uh, so I've got this guy hooked up. This is how I would hook up a normal uh, minnow for uh, perch fishing with a slightly smaller hook, of course. And a perch would bite it, but normally what they do is they bite. I've watched this on underwater camera. They bite it and they tug and they tug and they swim a little bit, usually to their more comfortable place. And then they turn it and they take it in. If you, if your jaw jacker springs at the moment when that thing's towing it away by the tail or the head or whatever it's going to just rip the minnow out of the fish's mouth or the fish will hang on to the minnow in the mouth and it'll rip the hook out of the minnow itself and i had that happen like a bunch of times one day as i was trying to figure out the learning curve to this so the trick what they're doing is sometimes they take a slip bobber and they'll put it in the line between two guides and they'll make a, a, a loop in the line. Basically, it's the weight of the bobber that now when the thing triggers, it's going to pull that slip bobber up tight. Then it'll trigger and set the hook. It allows that perch to move it that 12 or 16 inches that it takes to get to its comfort zone and actually bite on. Uh, what I did instead of that, because I, most of the time it's so ding dong cold, I, I'm going to have freeze up problems anyways with these things, and I don't want a bobber laying around on the ice. If it's a beautiful warm day, you don't hardly need a bobber at all. You could just simply do this. Take some line, set it over on the side of the hole, put a little ice chip on it, and then put it over here. It'll pull off the ice chip, slide down the hole, and, uh, and trigger. But what I've taken to doing, especially, I'm treating it like a tip-up. I want to return that jig over that minnow, the next minnow, to the same depth the next time so that the fish uh, is right in the strike zone. So I use an ice fishing slip bobber with a string uh, stopper. I get my depth set and I set that in the hole and I throw a little bit of extra line down the hole. Now it's nearly optimal. So the perch bites, it sinks, it's barely feeling anything pulling on that slip bobber. It sinks, it takes the 16 or so inches, then it triggers it, boom! Now you've got a good hook set on the perch at the optimal time. That seemed to make a big difference. Still though, imagine this, if you're, if you're standing there fishing, you set the hook, now you stand here like a retard? No, you've got to start reeling. So you don't have that much time. If you see one of these things spring, for perch, you really gotta get there pretty quick. Or they're gonna roll their way around and unless they're gut hooked, they're gonna throw the hook. So the advantages of these things are, especially with kids, they're a lot of fun. Another big advantage is if you're not going after perch, if you're targeting trout or something you wanna re release cleanly, 
These are great because they're much more likely to get, just like in that video, a top of the mouth hook set. Those are easy to take out, hardly any damage ever to the fish. That's a better setup there. So they're fun with kids. Also, with kids or people who are just starting, you give them a tip up that's just flagged and tell them to pull in 75 feet of line the lake trout just take out, you're more likely to have a disaster. They don't know what they're doing. They don't have a drag, so they're more likely to fight it poorly. With a jig pole in their hand, they're more likely to bring in a fish, and it's just plain fun. So they, they have all those advantages. Disadvantage for sure is when it's cold, it don't work, because the hole freezes and you got no line pulling, it's over. Also, uh, these things are like 50 or $60, and now you got to have a decent jig pole in it. You can have 80 bucks to a hole set up. So you can't have five, six of these out here unless you got a credit reference at your local uh, bait stop. That's where this funky little thing came in. I found uh, 3D printing of things is really growing, right? And, uh, and this thing, you can find a file to print your own. There's a really amazing website called Thingiverse where someone has made just whatever, a coffee cup or whatever, made the file that you can download for free. You can tip the guy that designed it if you want, download it for free, and use it. It's really a neat thing. So a guy, an engineer actually, who likes to take his kids fishing, designed this uh, automatic fisherman thing, which a guy uh, that I knew printed out and gave to me. He said, give this a try, and it really does work. I, of course, bashed it to bits over the season because I'm pretty rough on equipment. But I've checked it out this year and I've actually contacted the guy. He's made three or four significant improvements to this, and he made this really funky thing you can print out that has like a, it, it jigs it slightly and it's got a little rocker here so it can be jigging automatically and then setting the hook automatically. What a fun project to do with your family or whatever or this when you're waiting for ice or whatever you can get something like that going. I, I made the, the, the links to that guy's stuff in the thingosphere is there. Uh, the links to the jaw jacker uh, and the stuff that uh, I'm showing you here is all available. So please give it a whirl and let me know how you do, especially if you print that thing out. I'd love to see you and your family uh, catching some fish on it. Please also like and subscribe. We've got a lot more videos on how to catch fish. Thanks for watching.